I am a junior in high school and a researcher at the Walnut Valley Research Institute. Um, there have been many ways IoT or Internet of Things has revolutionized healthcare accessibility. For those of you that don't know, IoT is a network of connected physical devices that transmit data and communicate over the Internet. For example, any smart device like lights or thermostats that you can control on your phone is a part of this network. So while IoT is already very integrated into our lives, not many of us know how it actually works or are aware of the many ways IoT can be further used. It has been integrated and used in the medical field in the form of fitness and health trackers, as well as equipment trackers, but very little has it been used directly in treatment monitoring. Now one treatment that can use IoT is in bed rest. So bed rest is a medical treatment prescribed to patients to treat many illnesses. Patients are prescribed time resting where they either have to limit their movement or physically rest in a bed at a hospital. However, a major issue is when patients leave their beds during treatment because they can fall and be severely injured. This is where IoT comes in. My project at the Walnut Valley Research Institute was focused on solving this issue by using IoT to monitor patient activity and alerting medical staff if a patient leaves their bed. Of course, the idea of putting bed alarms to alert nurses or patients of uh, uh, patients' movement is not new and has been implemented before. Previously, these systems were made up of pressure sensors on beds with a physical alarm that would alert caregivers with a sound if the sensors detect that there is a reduction in pressure, which means that the patient is no longer on the bed. These systems have been very successful with 77% of nurses finding it useful for fall prevention and 83% finding it useful for fall detection. Now, the pitfall of the system is that because there is an audible alarm, it can disturb other patients in real life clinical environments. IoT can solve this issue by sending notifications to medical staff through a network that connects the pressure sensors to the mobile phones that staff already carry during their shift. These bed alarms uh, are not only useful for fall prevention and detection, but they are also part of the management of immobile patients or patients in a coma. So patients in a coma frequently need to be used, uh, moved by staff to prevent pressure ulcers. So IoT servers can help track when a patient has been adjusted or if it is time to move a patient again according to their schedule. So how does it work? Well, the patient, uh, sorry, the system has five parts a bed absence sensor, uh, an internet capable processing device, a secure network, a data collection server, and a mobile device or phone. First, uh, a bed absence sensor is just a sensor that can detect if a patient has left their bed. It's usually a weight or pressure sensor. If a sensor detects that a patient has left, then the processing device connected to the sensor will be able to transmit that data through a secure network to a server. The data server will then take that data, which contains the location of the bed that a patient has left, and sends it to a mobile device that is normally carried by an attending nurse. The mobile app that shows the status of the beds that the nurse is attending will give a notification or alert that the bed needs to be checked and the patient needs to be returned to rest. For nurses with hospital-issued mobile phones, the mobile app can be installed or the system can be used with dedicated devices for alerts. The beds on the app can be configured to be assigned to each nurse and alerts for the beds can be disabled permanently or temporarily if the patient is undergoing imaging, diagnostics, or other treatment at the same time. The alert can be a visible notification on the screen of vibration and or a sound alarm. So these systems are very configurable and customizable to all that the hospital needs. We can even go further and integrate other sensors like accelerometers or thermal sensors to non-invasively monitor patient temperature or movement. Like this bed rest alert, IoT systems can be very simple, but they range all the way to entire complexes of devices and sensors and processes that can greatly improve efficiency. What I mean to say is that this is only the beginning of the reaches of IoT, especially in the medical field, and the possibilities can reduce injuries for patients the strenuous workload of nurses and other medical staff, as well as make the healthcare environment generally more comfortable. This is why Internet of Things truly connects us to our devices and can make life easier for all of us. Thank you.